Hey friends, happy Thanksgiving. I'm so happy to have you here in today's bonus video, sharing with you some holistic hacks that are gonna get you to healthier alternatives that you can have in your kitchen right now. And so I wanna share with you some of my favorite things that have really allowed me to have the most yield in creating this holistic lifestyle in the kitchen. So something that I love to use every day is some almond milk. You know, for me, I never was that big of a dairy person, but I love cereal, I love having smoothies, and so almond milk was a great alternative for me, and also an alternative to soy milk as well, and using, you know, more all natural milk uh, products that aren't made from cows. So if you're someone like me who's you know not a gluten person, almond milk is a great alternative. I brought this up in a video earlier in this series, but I'm gonna say it again, veggie pasta. I'm telling you, when you find the right brand for you, then veggie pasta, there's no need to look back. It has all the same flavor and texture, but it's like way healthier for you, right? Why wouldn't you use veggie pasta in lieu of, you know, just plain bleached, you know, processed pasta? Or, you know, a whole wheat pasta is also really good too if you can find one that, you know, tastes right for your consistency, right? I've tasted some before and they don't always have the right, you know, flavoring there, but it's a great alternative. Something else that I love to have, you know, on cooler days or when I'm feeling like I'm really in the work zone, but I don't want to, you know, cook something per se, is I'll have tea. I love making tea, whether that's cold tea or warm tea, depending on what the season might be for you. Tea is a great, you know, meal replacement almost, and it really allows you to live that holistic lifestyle, right? I mean, nothing's better than hot water, you know, with a little spritz of lemon or some honey. I mean, we could talk about tea all day. So if you're not a tea person, you know, try them out. You never know. Some of them are caffeinated. Some of them are herbal and not caffeinated. The world is your oyster when it comes to tea. As well as who loves cauliflower rice? Is anybody a fan of different kinds of, you know, grains or rices? There's so much out there from basmati to jasmine to wild rice to to, you know black rice to this new ancestral rice quinoa there is so many rich alternatives that we can use in opposed to you know long grain or white rice which doesn't have that much nutrients in it right and so you know these kinds of little holistic hacks are going to totally support you in creating your holistic kitchen and i have to bring this up one more time again but frozen vegetables i love frozen fruits and vegetables. And this is not a knock on, you know, what I've been preaching about, which has been all um, fresh fr fruits and vegetables. But let me tell you, I am from Chicago. I know it's getting cold in most of the world right now. And so it is no pardon to me if you use, you know, semi-homemade frozen fruits or vegetables. There's still that same nutrition there. You know, they say they flash, you know, flash freeze everything. And so it's like packed in at the peak of freshness, right? And so that is another great way for you to have smoothies or make some, you know, veggie, you know, grain bowl or soup, not get a bunch of frozen vegetables done in a jiffy. And so I hope some of these nice, holistic, healthy alternatives are going to support you in seeing that there's so much flavor that you could bring into your kitchen that are going to make things delicious and nutritious. So I hope you've enjoyed this awesome free seven day eat your chakra challenge. I hope you're having delicious, healthy and colorful foods on your Thanksgiving plate today. And I'm sending you so much love. So until next time, shine on friends.